Welcome Year 3 and 4 to your new Literacy Unit for this week. Now this week's text is called The Secret of Black Rock. So just spend a couple of seconds having a look at this beautiful front cover and think about where this story might be set. It might remind you Year 3 of the book we looked at right at the very beginning of School Closure called The Wild Robot. Now the extract that we're going to be looking at is this beautiful double spread here. And there's a little girl sitting on the edge of the pier, peering down into the water. And the writing that goes with this beautiful illustration, right at the very beginning of the book, starts with Erin Pike lived with her mum and her dog Archie near a big fishing town. She longed to go out to sea, but it was too dangerous because of dot dot dot. What do those ellipses mean for us as the reader what do we think was too dangerous think back to the title of this beautiful book and maybe that will give you a clue now on day one in your explore it session look at this spread what do you notice where is it set how would you describe this place is it like anywhere you've seen before in real life or stories? Is there anything you find particularly interesting about this scene and why? Who is the girl staring down on the pier and what do you think she's thinking? Think about what I just read about Erin. What do you learn about Erin's life? from that short extract. What more does that tell us about Erin? And is it what you expected from looking at the picture? How would you describe Erin's character from this scene and from what was just read? And don't just think about her appearance, but think about her behaviour, her thoughts and feelings. Now, in your illustrated lesson on day two, on Tuesday, think about where Erin lives and her longing to go out to sea. What's special about the sea? Who lives there? Look closely at the fish that she's watching. Which one do you like best and why? Can you draw it? Is the fish that you're going to draw short and round or long and skinny? Is it planed or is it patterned? Maybe when your parents are out food shopping, they could buy a fish for you to touch and feel and illustrate. Or look close up. Or maybe you could watch a documentary from the Blue Planet series and pause it on a particular fish that you've liked watching and maybe you could illustrate that. Now, in Wednesday's Talk About It session, we want you again to look at the front cover. So have a look at the front cover of the book again. What do you notice and what is happening here in this scene? What is Erin doing? Where do you think Erin is going in her boat? And what tells you this? Do you think Erin has asked to go out to sea? And what makes you think that? Should we always follow our dreams? And if so, why do you think that? Now, in your Imagine It lesson, look at the front cover again on Thursday and look closely at the picture. Think about where Erin is going. Can you find the black rock mentioned in the title? How would you describe it? 
Think about what adjectives you would use or noun phrases. Would you want to go there? And if so, why? And if not, why not? What can you see? We would like you to create a black rock above sea level as well and imagine what it looks like below sea level using whatever materials you have to hand. What do you imagine is the secret of black rock? Is it a dangerous secret? Is it a beautiful secret? You could draw or write a story about Erin and the secret of Black Rock. Why did she go there? What do you imagine happens when she arrives there? How does the story end? And finally, on your Friday session, your Create It lesson, we want you to think about how much Erin longed to go out to sea. And think about her longings and what your longings might be. What are your dreams? What do you hope or long for? And what is important to you? Talk with your family about where you would most like to go. What would you most like to do? Or who you would, or who you would most like to see? And why do you long for these things? How would it make you feel if you were able to do them? And then once you've discussed your longings and your hopes and dreams with your family, we want you to create a wish list of all your hopes and dreams. And don't just think about your big dreams. Think about small things you could wish for today. Something that you could achieve, that you could actually do and that will make you feel nice. And we want you to draw and write your wishes on tiny separate bits of paper and begin to fill, fill them up and store them in a jar, a book or a box. And you can keep adding to your wish list or take your dreams out when they become reality and share them with other people. Think about how you would decorate your dream jar or your wish jar. Do you want it to keep your wishes secret? Or would, you decor would your decoration on the jar reveal clues about what it is inside that you're dreaming of or wishing for? And on the bottom of the downloadable printout that goes with this unit that you can print off or download from Purple Mash, you can learn more about the uh, author and illustrator Joe Todd Stanton's picture book making process on the CLPE's Power of Pictures and you can click on the link. We do hope you enjoy exploring this magical story of Erin and the journey that she goes on. We'd love to find out what you think the secret of Black Rock is year three and four. Please do send in and upload all your beautiful illustrations, dream jar wishes, an alternative version of the story that you write from your imagination onto your Purple Mash account for your teachers to read and enjoy. Take care and we look forward to sharing another book with you soon.